Okay, that's the fuel pressure indication in the gauge. Every time I bump the starter, the fuel pump cycles a little bit. This machine requires minimum 43 PSI. Plus or minus two. You see, fuel line, it's twisted around right here. But it goes up and it goes into the T. Backside comes directly off the top of the pump here. And then it goes through the T and it goes to the regulator and then out the backside over there up to the fuel injector. And then it also comes off the top for the overflow or the overpressurization. Just to make sure it's not the regulator sitting wide open, I've actually clamped this off and keep cycling the starter. And the pressure that you see me building there after each attempt, it'll slowly build. But the most fuel pressure I can get, get out of this all balls pump is about 16 to 18 PSI. So the machine simply won't idle, there's not enough pressure. And again, that's the pressure indication line comes down, loops under this one, and goes into the T. It's coming out this side, and it's being, it's going directly to top. So basically it's coming out of the pump here, and coming around, going through the T, coming around, going through the T. This, this line is the pressure, and then out the back back there is where it goes to the fuel regulator. And it just simply will not build pressure. The pump won't do it. And 18 PSI is the best that I've got.